James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's June 21st, 2023, 1 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at the electromagnetic field and some sort of impact happening upon that field here from what looks like around 1400 to maybe present these are not extremely substantial spikes although it looks like one of them exceeds three maybe up to 400 hertz and most of them are in the 100 to 200 hertz range where they have been dissipating off slowly but are still actually occurring all right, this is our Schumann Resonance, and if you'll stick around to the end of this video, uh, I will show you some information proving that the Schumann Resonance started increasing in 2017 to levels we've never seen before. I found someone fact-checking one of my 2020 videos talking about the Schumann Resonance spike, claiming that it was caused by 14 feet of snow. Well, if that is the fact, in that one instance, it's definitely not the fact in all of these other instances. So complete hogwash, as always, I guess. But the fact check that I did find based on one spike in the Schumann Residence, and them reporting that it was caused by 14 feet of snow in 2020, does not have anything to do with all of the other Schumann spikes that we've seen. This is an attempt to actually change the narrative by the powers that be, as always. I'm going to show you when the Schumann resonance started spiking for the first time and show you how high spikes have been recorded. Now, what we see is exactly what we talked about. There was some action before 1400 UTC time, and that's gone on for over two hours time. These spikes are off the chart. See the geophones get hit up here, and the spikes are off or exceeding 105 hertz. Um, therefore, we call them off the charts. I'm guessing they didn't get 14 feet of snow every day this occurred. What a false fact check that I have no way of erasing. All right, here we see a six-day comparison of our Schumann residents. And we see that we had a lot of activity a little bit prior to 1400 UTC time. And since then, we had about two and a half, three hours of intensive spiking, which has subsided up to real time, it looks like, on this comparison. Uh, this, again, is a six-day comparison. Every unit you see here is cut up into six-hour periods of time. All right, here we can see that 1400 was the big hour. We saw the precursor here. And going into uh, 1345, we see the spiking starting. Looks like it did occur for about two hours, and it has subsided since that period, according to the geophone strips. Each strip is an hour, and those are cut up into 15-minute increments. The, I guess, uh, well, brighter they are, the more intense the geophone was hit. Here we can actually see that uh, this started at around 1300 UTC time. It's been ongoing for about three hours. So that's a little bit better information. It was picked up by all of our equipment, our geophones, our ULF noise, our ELF noise, our second frequency. What is the Schumann resonance? Well, it's the vibration and frequency of Mother Earth, which is supposed to be around 7.83 hertz. When we see these enormous spikes, we don't know what to think. Uh, I studied theories like string theory, M theory, uh, super symmetrical theory, super string theory, and all these theories of everything actually proclaim that there's several dimensions occurring all at one time, that these are theories of everything or all, and that depending on your vibrational level and your frequency, 
you're actually in that dimension i.e. earth is in a very low dimension with a 7.83 Schumann resonance or hertz vibration and frequency but it seems to be spiking up to levels unseen before at least 2019 we're going to take a look at the exact numbers and dates of the spikes at the end of this now, my theory is, and everyone, I guess, his theory is, is as our Schumann resonance increases in frequency and vibration, we would be uplifted into a higher dimension, i.e. ascension, ascending into a higher dimension due to our vibration and frequency. Now, mathematically and logically, this sounds astute. Now, we've also had some activity on our Tomsk Russian Schumann model. This is Tomsk time. The other one was in UTC time. And we can see that, uh, well, we had two very large spikes. And they have subsided over the last five hours or so. These could be correlated to the other spikes, quote unquote, as the world turns. The energy could have hit the Tomsk station in Russia, and then as the world rotated, it could in fact have hit the Italian modeling station as well. This is something that is, again, just speculation. Now, on the Tomsk model, we saw some very strong spiking here. As you can see, real quickly, taking a look, we see that the Schumann resonance exceeded probably 50 hertz here briefly and then came back and exceeded maybe 30 or uh, 7 or 38 hertz. Looks like it's starting to activate again as we speak in real time here. So none of this, based on what I'm going to show you in just a second, could ever have been caused by HARP. It's been operational for 30 or 40 years. CERN did increase their power uh, and went back online, uh, but currently it's not active, so I wouldn't guess that it had anything to do with the Schumann resonance either. This is called our KP index, and it shows space weather activity. And today starts at this line right here, and each uh, well, each mark you see here is a three hour time period we don't see any space weather activity we'd have to start at about four for what's called a geomagnetic disturbance and higher than that we'd probably be in what's called a geomagnetic storm but that's not what we're seeing at all today we're seeing a very relaxed situation now i wanted to kind of show you why i would not expect lightning to be a cause of this or harp for that matter or space weather for that matter because all of those things were in play let's read this real quick for the first time in recorded history on january 31st 2017 the schumann resonance reached a frequency of 36 hertz so on february 27th 2020 it went up to 170 hertz uh, Following, well, right before that, December 6, 2019, it went to 156 hertz. Now, I do believe that it has broken those levels uh, since that time period. This goes into the actual time period uh, of these spikes here. I don't think that's very important, but we never saw Schumann resonance spikes over 36 hertz before January 31st of 2017. That means we can take out lightning, harp, space weather. Uh, we still have CERN in there, and I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it or if this is just some sort of spiritual or dimensional ascension, although CERN seems to do the same thing that the Schumann resonance does. It smashes um, small particles creating energy at high frequencies and high vibrational sequences. But I believe this is to actually look into, move into, uh, or have access to higher dimensions. 
So remember, no large spikes. And then all of a sudden in 2019, 2020, seen here, we had substantial spikes. Now, I think we've had larger spikes since then. This is showing the 170 hertz spike in 2020. Prior to that, we had the 156 hertz spike in 2019. Prior to that, just 36 hertz in all years prior to 2017. My suggestion is everyone study string theory, M theory, super string theory, uh, super s uh, systematical theory, etc. Uh, there have been two great breakthroughs in the 20th century, Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum mechanics. The problem is the two don't fit together. String theory is an attempt to solve the problem and create a theory of everything. A theory of everything. This has evolved, and some of the models say that there's at least 26 or more dimensions all occurring at the same time at higher frequencies and lower frequencies than ours. And I want everyone to realize that as our Schumann resonance works its way higher, we should be theoretically ascending into a higher dimensional state currently we're in the fourth dimension which means we can only see the third dimension or 3d if we were in let's say the 21st dimension we could see 20 dimensions below us we could actually have someone vibrate in a higher frequency or something vibrate in a higher frequency maybe in the eighth dimension standing right next to us and we'd have no awareness and we could not actually see that thing or person but they could definitely see us let's keep studying and try to figure this out together god bless you and yours share and subscribe always remember that anything is possible in the bizarro world